The 7th year remembrance anniversary of late custodian of Okbe culture and tradition, the late Shiv Biti Oumi, the Adani of Okbe Kingdom, has been held to much from fair. It was a day to celebrate the life and times of the late Shiv Biti Oumi, who passed on to glory seven years ago at his residence in Saple Town, as children, extended family and friends all came together in merriment to mark one of the greatest promoters of the Okbe custom. Chief Omi, father to some illustrious name in Saple, which also include the Omamigo of Okbe Kingdom, Chief Anthony Aogo Omi, was a very devoted custodian of Okbe Nation, and his indelible mark left has been a feat yet to be marched in Okbe Kingdom, and this was postulated when Rero TV spoke to some of his children and guests who came to the event. Our respondents took time in celebrating the life of the late Adani of Okba Kingdom as they revealed what they will miss the most about him and how the family hoped to carry on the rich legacy left by the prominent custodian of the Okba Nation. I miss him for a number of things. But first and foremost, um, his wise counsel as it relates to how life should be lived in terms of integrity and uh, uprightness uh, these and some other things are the things i will say have missed by being with him but over and above that too i also think that anytime i may i met chief Oumi then there were always things to talk about new things new development and uh, he will say, what has happened to you in the last few years? How are you managing it? And all that. He was always full of advice, wisdom. And I think I, I missed it. Who will miss stand for progress? Who will miss stand for success? Who will miss stand for the growth of Ukwe Kingdom? Who will miss stand for and has carried Ukwe? And we continue to reign. So we we'll continue to celebrate Oumi. That is why we the children, we've been celebrating him every year. Since he passed on, first year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, sixth year, and this is his seventh year. So all world of life are always around with us when we celebrate our father. To, to, to show his greatness, to show how he lives and how he reigns, how he carries the culture tradition of folk people, how he has elevated himself to a higher level. So that is why we are all here today to celebrate him. He's remembered for culture. He's the one let stand to ensure Okbe became a language and produced the entire books for Okbe Kingdom. And Okbe, Okbe book was read in Sapele and Okbe local government. He single-handedly produced the books for Okbe to be spoken as a language across the two local governments. I will always miss him because definitely my father is an epitome of knowledge. He is knowledge himself. So missing him is that we will lose much knowledge, but we, we will try to grow to see how we can get the level of wisdom he has. That he can carry things, carry the culture, and lot us, for us to do a lot of things to promote culture and tradition. Remembering my father, normally they say if a fruit falls, it doesn't fall far from the tree. My father is an Iroko and a man of truth, a man that speaks words. And at the initial stage when we were small, we were thinking that those words were just normal words. But as we have grown up now, we now understand that true, true, true. They say word like the word goes, the saying goes, where's the old man sit down, they see for front. Small picking climb 2003 in Ogosiam. Words that he has spoken years ago have come to pass. It makes us remember our, my father or our father as a man of truth, a man that speaks volume. He did well for the Okbe Kingdom. He's the only one that created the Ebi Okbe. And today, everybody now are falling back to their roots. So Chief Bito Umi will be remembered for his good deeds. He did lots of things, but not something for me to say. It's people that will come and tell us, this was what your father did. That's what makes your father. That's what makes Adani Okbe. So I remember my father for his good deeds. Yeah, he made sure we all went through school and he took care of all his children. Today, at least my father, we have professors, we have doctors, we have politicians, we have all sorts. Even to the extent that we even got married to a Doe State governor, the former governor. So my family is great. My father lives on. He's not yet dead. 
he lives on. He held the Oak Bear esteem. And we shall do the same. We shall do the same. I missed him for his words of wisdom. I missed him for the education that he has imparted in me. I miss him for the exposure that he has made me got into. And he will forever remain a literary memory in my mind to the glory of God. The education, he sold the foundation of education in me and uh, always told me that I should not depend on his properties and that uh, the education that is given to me, even though if he has to go to the bank to take a loan to get me educated, that if the bank comes to draw him of the loan, they will never say, oh, because he invested in my education, that they will take away the education from me if that money was invested into that education. So I miss him for that legacy of that education. And to the time, that education has been very significant and is taking me around the world. We thank God for that. My name is Jekuko Ufuma Angus, the vice president of the Old School Service Association Foundation, residing in Saple from whom we've come to grace the occasion of one of our members, an outstanding member, a pillar to our session. His name is Honorable Paul Otomifo Wumi. Yes, we want to say it's indeed a memorable time for him to remember his dead father who has been a pillar in his life. As we members, we've come to join him to say thank you to the, to, 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 to the father who took care of him during his age, during his teenage age to an adult stage before he's passing away and this, this memory is to keep in mind that this father was indeed useful and this father was indeed useful to society in supply this is railroad tv my name is akbar henry akbos thank you for watching